All right, guys. I know there's been a lot of F-150 stuff going on, but it's time to get back to the tanks thing. I make Hope you guys have been enjoying all the updates. I know the Mustang. It's been, it's been a long, long time. But today, it's finally going back to Joe's. Joe finally has time to finish the front end. So if you guys don't know, pretty much where we left off, we brought the car back to my house about a month, month and a half ago, and I pretty much tidied up all the, I finished the plumbing, finished the electrical, got the car running after all the electrical issues we ran into, and essentially now the only things that are left keeping it from going down the track is we need the front radiator support that's gonna go across, and it's also gonna house the bumper and the headlights. Now, the hood, the hood is a little while out. I just haven't ordered the hood yet. I just, I really wanna get the car testing. I'm sick of just waiting. I there's two things. It's like, there's two sides of it, really. I want the car to look really badass and be 100% when I take it out, but at the same time, I am so antsy to get out racing and testing. So, I decided a while ago that I was just gonna finish the car, I'll put a hood on it later, and we'll, you know, we'll paint the engine and base, the engine base stuff, we'll get all that done later. I just wanna get the car out testing at this point. It's been way too damn long. So, hopefully you guys don't mind it without a hood for a while, but it's going back to Joe's today. We're gonna put the upper radiator support on. We're gonna get that mounted, some tabs for the headlights, tabs for the bumper, and, oh, dump tubes. We need dump tubes. I have the piping. It's gonna be super simple. Joe's just gonna pretty much, I think, 90 out of there and just go straight down, and then same thing on the other side. Now, while the car has been down, let's talk to my boy Pete over at Hughes Performance, who's always looking out for me and we decided to make another slight upgrade to the car. So, when the car gets back from Joe's, there's only two more things I have to do, which will be easy. I can knock them out in a night, probably. But I have to, you guys know this, I gotta fix the seal on the rear end for the strange center section. I have another gasket, just gotta put it in. Essentially, that one, I don't think I had everything torqued down, and once those seals break, they are pretty much just leak forever. So, I've got that gasket, but, Huge thanks to Hughes Performance, all the guys over there. Um, Pete is freaking awesome. So, if you guys need anything from Hughes, hit me up. I can get you hooked up with them. They make the most badass transmissions, Powerglide, Turbo 400, whatever you want. And let me show you what else they're really badass at making. I'm going to show you. It's in this box. But huge thanks to Pete for making this happen. He's always looking out for me, and he's a good friend. And... Uh, it's just another upgrade for the tanks thing, because we want to go fast. And huge thanks to Tony from the shipping department. It says big fans from the shipping department. These guys are so awesome. But check out these stickers. So it's uh, their 50th anniversary this year, so they came out with these gold ones, which are sick. And then uh, probably my other favorite one is this America one. That one's sick. The gold ones, though, those are badass. So if you guys need anything from Hughes Performance, hit me up. I can get you hooked up with them. Turbo 400, Power Glide. Doesn't matter the car, um, you can get a modular Ford bell housing if you have a modular setup, or if you watch this channel and drive a GM, which you probably don't, I can get you hooked up with them as well. But let me show you what's in here. Oh my gosh, I never thought a converter could look so good. Check this out. Damn, that's some baller shit right there. So, the converter that's currently in the car right now is just your standard uh, three bolt welded converter. Nothing wrong with it, works perfectly fine. Totally a good option, but if you wanna go a little step further, you get a bolt together converter because what you can do is if you know you got the wrong stator for your setup or if you want, you know, if the track's not good or the track's really good, um, Hughes Performance's Pete is super good about specking out custom stators for literally no prep, for prep, a lot of horsepower, a little bit less horsepower, weight of the car, there's so many factors, but anyways, essentially you could have different stators 
for different track surfaces, you know, when you're going to throw down different amounts of power, and the stator can change everything inside the converter. So what's cool about a bolt together like this is if you're at the track, because these transmissions, you can literally pull them in probably 20 minutes. Literally, it's, you can pull these pretty quick, 20, 30 minutes tops. So if you're at the track and the stator's completely wrong, you could pull the transmission, pull the converter out, unbolt the converter, change stators, and be good to go back to racing. Same thing if um, Joe did this before. Joe went to do a no prep race and he had a stator made for no prep. It was just spec differently the way the power came in. I think it was a little bit looser at the beginning. I don't remember which way it goes. I'm not a stator uh, extraordinaire here. But um, so the week of the race, he, chained, he pulled the converter out, swapped stators, put it right back. Now with a welded converter, you'd have to send it in, they cut it open, switch staters. They're pretty quick on that turnaround, but this just keeps you from having to like ship yours back and forth. Then my man Pete went a step further and got me the billet aluminum six bolt backing plate. Holy smokes. It sucks that people won't see this because this is such an amazing piece. So this will save you a little bit of weight over your standard three bolt welded converter. Plus this is a six bolt, uh, so it's a little bit stronger. Now, like I said, the three bolt that's in there works perfectly fine. It's a really good option. But if you want to go a step further with your program, oh boy, you get yourself one of these bad boys. So huge thanks to Tony and the shipping department and literally huge thanks to Pete. That guy is freaking amazing. I try not to annoy him, but I know I annoy him a lot through messages, <laughs> but Pete, you're an awesome man, good friend, and uh, like I said, if you guys need anything Hughes Performance, they're taking over the world of transmissions and converters, holler at me, we'll get you hooked up. Anyways, it's time to take the tank stain to Joe's house. Alright guys, so you've probably been watching Joe's videos, but we are making some headway. I'm finishing on up this front end. So I welded these, made these little brackets so that we can pull this upper radiator support if we ever need to pull like the radiator and the intercooler off because this is going to be tied into the intercooler. But this thing is freaking sturdy. Um, so pretty much the plan is while the car's over here is finish the front end where we can get the bumper mounted up. And that's what we're working on now. Um, I also pulled the brackets off and drilled out the rivnuts nuts that were holding the catch cans. They just couldn't get them tight enough, so we're actually going to weld the brackets to the front end for the catch cans on both sides. So we need to get those done also. Um, we have to make the dump tubes. We've never made the dump tubes, so I brought those over. I brought two, I think they're two tight 90s. So we're going to do the dump tubes, catch cans, finish the front end, which we're working on now. Like I said, he made the upper part. And then today what we got to do is these actually go on the bottom of the tubed front end. And the bumper will have a bar that slides into this little U here. And you guys can see the whole breakdown on Joe's channel on exactly how he's welding that all together. Um, and then... I want to say that's it. There's a few small odds and ends that we want to do while the car was over here. Pretty much any fab work we got to get done while it's over here. These brackets actually attach onto the bumper and that's what the bar comes off of. So yeah, we're making some headway. Other thing we got to do, which I don't know if we're going to do it this week or in another week. I really want to just go get the car testing after this, but we got to put the Sean's billet manifold up there 
but that requires us remaking that charge pipe. So that's kind of why we've held off on that. We want to get the car running, possibly get it down the track, get all the suspension adjusted. And then uh, once we've taken it out once or twice, then we're going to come back, put the manifold on because we think once we go testing, there's going to be like a few other parts I'm going to need. So that'll be a good time to kind of do the manifold upgrade, redo the charge pipe. And then if anything else needs to be replaced or fixed or upgraded, from those two like one or two test sessions then we'll do it then so just trying to keep you guys updated but feels good to be back over at joe's feels good to have the front end going awesome sweet so that is why we stopped working on the mustang it's been outside and now it's pouring rain so you know how that goes but hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoy the updates on the mustang Make sure you subscribe to Joe's channel as he's doing like the full breakdown on the technical side of how he's building the front end. And I've already made some changes, of course, since I've been over there. But make sure you go to his channel, Streetcar Joe, and he will show you guys how he's breaking down exactly how he's going to make the front end mounts and then the dump tubes and whatever else we're going to be doing over there. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. And don't forget, July 9th, huge, huge things coming to the channel.